Hey, it's an X. I can see. It's an X. The X universe. Yeah. Metal station. There's lightning. There's the cock. There's that gate that might just open in front of us. Nothing could go wrong, right? <laughs> Hello and welcome to X4 Foundations. As I'm recording this, it's the 12th of April, which marks the release of the fourth DLC of this great space game. If you don't know what X4 is, in short, X4 is a single-player open-world space simulator which allows you to fly every ship you see, trade with pretty much every station you see, fight with anything you see, and think on ways to get ahead in a large simulated universe. Nearly everything in the game is built from scratch, meaning ships require resources in order to be built, instead of spawning out of thin air, making this one of the coolest space simulators out there. I have well over 600 hours in X4, and like most X players, I have played every main X game out there. As I have already finished the existing storylines, and already pretty much took over the universe on my previous save, I would like to try out one of the new fancy Boron game starts from this DLC. Although I'll be playing this blind, I already have some knowledge about the DLC thanks to the great videos from Captain Collins. Shout out to him for making quality content about X4 for so long. Spoiler alert, of course as I'll be making no efforts to dodge spoilers here, so be warned. Let's see how far we can go and see what we can find out about the Borons in this first impressions video. Ok, let's get settled in and start the first impressions video here. Let's go for the emergence game start. The connection that binds us as an interstellar community is fragile, even tenuous. Nothing has proved that more than the jump gate shutdown and the resulting turmoil. As the Alliance of the Word, we strive to strengthen the bond between the peoples inhabiting our galaxy. And you too shall do your part. I'm not exactly sure... Oh, okay, so we're gonna be part of the Alliance of the Word. I was wondering about this. And so we can choose to be Argon, Teladi, or Pyranid. I was hoping to be Boron, actually. But okay. Oh, a baller, baron female. I don't remember playing like that in other games. So let's just choose here, like a male human. Let's go meet the barons. As the Commonwealth begins to regroup, to reconnect, the continuing isolation of our boron allies is shrouded in mystery. Our only means of communication are regular messenger drones through which we have just now. Received word from Kingdom End again. The Boron are thriving and seemingly investigating jump gate technology. We are now dispatching a research expedition to investigate further. And you have been accepted to join our endeavor. Okay, that is so cool. It's actually something I missed from Expert Birth, even though nobody liked that game pretty much. The feeling of What's gonna happen when this gate opens? That game captured that really well. I don't feel like that in X4 actually, but right now I'm really curious because I didn't see anything about this DLC in terms of story. Entering system, Morning Star. Morning Star. Setting course for heretic set. Some of you are new additions to our expedition. Others have been with us since we set out from Trinity Sanctum. As we approach our destination, allow me a moment for a brief introduction. I, Numankaret, welcome you in my capacity as commanding officer of this expedition. In our complacency, we treated the gates as an eternal gift from a higher power. We did not make sufficient effort to understand the technology. This is how the galaxy has found itself in this predicament. The Alliance of the Word is a collective of scholars and scientists intent on advancing understanding and cooperation. Word reached us from the Boron of Kingdom End some months ago via the Messenger Drone Network. It seems they may be making some headway with their gate technology experimentation. At first, I will admit, we dismiss the notion. So many scientists have tried and failed to interact with the gate network. 
But now, the dormant gate at Heretic's End is showing infrequent, but undeniable signs of activity. This may or may not be related to the Boron experiments, but the timings coincide too starkly to ignore. If the Boron have truly succeeded in manipulating the jump gate, the consequences are beyond significant. But let us not get ahead of ourselves. This expedition was tasked with resolving the many unknowns of this situation. We could be reuniting with our Boron brethren. Equally, we could find ourselves welcoming a fleet of Xenon destroyers. Everybody, stay alert. Okay. Can I talk now? <laughs> for one final equipment calibration. We yeah, let's do the calibrations. Sure that everything is in order. Hello there. What's up? I'll ask the word add lore. A little lore about it since version 1.0 when X4 first released, but we never really got too much about it. Explorer, perhaps your attention is best focused on the task at hand. Why do you not scout ahead? Okay. They want me to scout ahead. Uh, where do I have to go? I have no idea what's going on. Is okay, yeah, okay. start with a discover. Sorry. Alright guys, this is my first impressions video. I'm actually doing a first impressions of first impressions video, so you know you know how it goes. Oh, this cover is one of my favorite ships from the previous games. Discoverer Vanguard. I don't know why I just like it so much. Let's go. Which ship is this one? Air Wayfinder. Helios E, okay, it's a trader. It's not a, a destroyer. Let's go. Let's go through the gates. Oh, uh, my ship's so slow. Entering system. Heretics end. Okay, we are already in Heretics end. Nice. I thought we were. Oh, Mar Morningstar is here. Okay. I'm relearning the map. Let's go. Empty space. So, Alliance of the Word had some more inversion one. Point zero or the release version of X4, but we never really got any content about it. We just knew they were explorers. There wasn't much information around. So that's really cool that now they have a ship and we start working with them. Attention! Denizens of Heretics End! Please evacuate designated area immediately! Uh oh, I know what's going to happen. I know this voice. What's going on? Sir, we are picking up an unusually high energy signature. The music, man. The music is so good in this DLC, I have to say. I'm gonna say that. Oh, whoa, crap. What the hell? It was me. It worked. I made the jump. My ship is moving by itself. Uh -huh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Excuse me, traveler. Did you hear the Alliance broadcast? I wonder. Would you be interested in collaborating with one of the greatest scientific minds of our time? Of course. I have done that before. As far as I am aware, I am the only four on this side of the network schism. I am currently in the market for some personal assistance. Should you be interested, please do come for a face-to-face -face chat. When you have time, of course. I always have time for you, man. You're my, you're like the... Oh, crap. Okay. So he's like... Uh, a scientist. Uh, he's like your best friend in this game, if you want him to be. Because he can research a lot of cool unlocks for you, including some very impactful things like tele teleporting Unknown or character. Station. Where is the docking bay? It's here. Wow, I'm I'm flying so poorly, so poorly. Docking of docking granted. Oh no. Manual docking with the new physics engine. How do I do that again? Okay. First try. First try. Let's go find Bozo. Welcome aboard the mystery installation. I do apologize for the mess. I only recently escaped my spent captors. Can you believe they forced me to develop weapons? Anyway, I have not yet had sufficient opportunity to undertake much housekeeping. Best not to dwell on the past. All is well now. The installation seems vaguely to be of Terran origin, but it is certainly no run-of-the-mill station. 
It is equipped with uncommonly advanced research facilities. Frankly, I am rather longing to lose myself in the lab and focus wholly on science. This brings me to a business matter. I require someone to oversee the mundane aspects of base operations. I will be far too preoccupied with my important work. Might this be a suitable and rewarding use of your skills? No need to answer. Of course it is. <laughs> I have transferred the station to you. I trust you will make good use of it. When you are not otherwise engaged, please do pop down to see me. I am sure there will be bits and bobs that you may be able to help me with regarding my research. When you are ready, of course, you have a new station to grapple with. Yeah, so this isn't a beginner friendly start, I can see. Um, if, you w if you are a new player, I really recommend the Terran start. I don't recommend this start for now, for what I've seen, because they are already handing you um, something that is really important, which is the player HQ, and it's mine now. And I can already go to my personal office. Let me see the research system. No, it's, it isn't unlocked yet. But yeah, here we, we can have the personal office, and there's a deposit storage here, so you can grab um, items that your ships drop off here. As you play the game, achievements you unlock, you will be rewarded like statues and miniatures. It's really cool. There are some really good looking models here and you start decorating this place um, by completing the game. Let's go back to the, the main story here. Also, if you're doing this game start, remember to select the Bozota mission here, um, just so you can come and talk to him before leaving because um, I actually left without talking to him. And here he is, he's a mighty, mighty Boron. This installation is equipped for habitation of all races, and this room so seems cool to be now. some sort of research area. I expect I could spend years poring over the data contained in these systems. Hello there! Yes, I have already made some progress. There appears to be several things we can research at this facility. Please take a look. So we have to access the research menu. Is it... Yeah, it's here. It's a, as you can see, there is much to do. Oops, they skipped I personally his find mention dialogue. of this teleportation irresistible, but I leave it up to you to decide what we research first. Please note that these research items have certain requirements. Oh yeah, a new player might get a little overwhelmed with this, but let's start this research. We don't have money. If you could, please gather the required materials. But we'll do that. We'll get back to this, maybe? I don't know. Not sure if we're, if we're gonna have time to do this. Let's go back to the ship. So let me just get acquainted with what do we have unlocked as the map. Okay, the Wayfinder is coming. There is a... what? They have military ships? Okay, interesting. I don't remember seeing those from this faction before. Um, so we have the whole path from the... Oh, that is really cool. Nice, nice job. I like the attention to detail here. I hate when you start a new character and you have zero maps unlocked, even though your character clearly has been part of the universe before. So that's cool. Let's go join up with the Wayfinder Empty on the gate. Space. I forgot to mention the little dolphin guy we just talked with. I think he's still voiced by one of the developers, one of the game designers. Is it Owen? They just apply a filter to his voice. And it's really interesting because his voice is completely different. His way of talking is completely different from the character. It's so funny to see a game designer, you know. Being a good voice actor, at least on my <laughs> on my interpretation. Okay, here we are, getting close to the expedition. Oh, a cutscene. Of course, everyone is welcome to attend the investigation. Though please do remain at a safe distance until the risks are all clear. So many ships! I cannot believe we are actually here! Ready to witness something truly historic. The Terran Secret Service has been alerted to potential gate activity. The Intervention Corps has been ordered to undertake a threat assessment with regard to the potential impact on Soul territories. We can only guarantee everyone's safety as long as the expedition remains close to the Intervention Fleet. However, we advise everyone to stay clear of our firing arcs. Visual scans indicate some activity. We will need to get closer for a more thorough read of the situation. Mission specialist, approach the gate with cell and interface with it to initialize a direct data stream for our onboard science team. Affirmative. 
I really like the Terran approach. They're like, hey, we love you, we adore you, we are here to protect you. But we are gonna shoot you. Activating scanner. Accessing nacelle. If we don't follow the rules. Data stream is initialized. It looks like... Fall back. Hey, it's an X. I can see. It's an X. The X universe. Yeah. Battle stations. Prepare to engage. Nothing. Well then, intervention core. Prepare for traversal. The expedition shall fall close behind. That is so cool. Mission specialist. Remain here and establish an outpost to derive a complete reading of the gate's coordinate data. On it, sir. Godspeed, everyone. That is so cool. M multiple races working together. I don't remember. Maybe on Albion Prelude? Terran Conflict? It's been a while. Wayfinder. To have Terran. a mission like this? Sentinel. That's Pelican. very cool. Like, look Sentinel. at that. That's a Tilati ship. Baronet, a Terran. Is there an Argon here? There shouldn't be. Wayfinder. Because Argons are kind of kind of mean nowadays. Let's go through the gate and see what happens. Stop Is the Wayfinder off. going to jump, or everyone's gonna wait for me? I don't know. Entering system. Watchful gaze. Preliminary scans indicate going that the system is uninhabited. No. No sign of Boron or any Watchful other kind gaze. of life. Biological or artificial. This cannot be true. Are you certain that the sensors are not malfunctioning? It has been so long. I really thought this might be the day I finally reconnect with my kin of the Finn. Take heart, Boron Exile. You may yet be a step closer to your reunion. Explorer, we need some detailed system mapping. The task is in your hands. There is much to learn here. Okay, what do we have to do? Maybe just fly around. I'm gonna trigger the long range scanners here. And there is no asteroids. No, I have no idea. Let's just go fly right in the middle of the system and see what happens. This system is so big and this strip is so slow. Okay, so we have to go into two places here. There's one closer to us. We're arriving at the first point of interest that Hold our carnage friend pointed out. I think I am picking up. Oh no, never mind that. Nothing of interest here. This system's peculiar conditions make getting accurate readings rather troublesome. Empty okay, space. let's go to the next point. New Mon Kaled, sir. Our team confirms that the Heretics and Gate does indeed contain the coordinates to the Kingdom End system. The timing cannot be coincidental, can it? Just after we received word from the Boron? Is it possible that their experiments were somehow related to the Gate reinitialization? Coordinates and timing are relevant, but not conclusive. The fact of the matter is that this is definitely not Kingdom End. Interstellar messenger drones are not the fastest form of communication. We do not know what has occurred on the Boron side since their last message. Theoretically, a connection between the two gates is possible, but that is just a theory. It could well be that the systems were linked in the distant past. Yes. Unfortunately, a theoretical compatibility does not mean much in itself. If activating or reprogramming these gates were easy, 
I'm certain I would have overcome the challenges long ago. The split didn't exactly give you a choice over your research focus. Could this be the Boron? Could they really have unlocked Jumpgate technology? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Mm, what is this shit? At this point, any further hypothesis will be mere speculation. Until oh, it's a Boron ship. Evidence, keep your ideas off general comms. If you must elaborate your theories, feel free to put them in writing. Oh my! Could that be? By the Trinity, a Boron vessel. My instinct says we should take a closer look. Your ship sensors are picking up a weak energy signature amongst the debris. Oh, Assistant, no. I think you should suit up and investigate. Oh no. The dreaded spacesuit segments of X4 missions. <laughs> Okay, so let's get on our spacesuit. Discoverer, Vanguard. Here. Whoops. Have to repair. repair the panel to gain access. Okay. Oh, I could have stopped more far, couldn't I? Wouldn't that be funny if they release the DLC and all Borns are dead? This system is the remainder of Kingdom Zem after they blew up the planet trying to reactivate the jump gates. That would be something. Okay, what is this? There's an elevator here. Whoops. I'm so... I'm drifting. If you don't know what the... What the spacesuit like, looks like. Here I am. Just drifting around the borrow ship. Let's get inside and see what happens. Okay. Container. Okay, we have to go back to the ship and explore a newly connected system. So I notice I have a bunch of messages here. Let me just check real quick. Okay. Explore. You have an unidentified ship on an intercept trajectory. No. This is our first contact in the newly opened network. We have no idea of who they are, or their intentions. Investigate, and if possible make contact, but maintain vigilance. Let's find out who's talking at us here. Baranya. Oh my! Aliens! Please, what? do not be afraid. I shall disengage my armament. That is so cute. Greetings. Oh my god. I am so pleased to make your acquaintance. Autopilot. Incredible. Finally. Contact <laughs> with our aquatic allies. Bosota, are you receiving this? What did you say? A boron? Truly? A living, buoyant boron? Are my ocular sensor organs deceiving me? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bozota, and I can barely recall another Boron face. I have been driven from my people for that long. Will you please deign to share your time with me? I am Neela T, adventurer extraordinaire. I would be delighted to spend time with you. As appointed delegate of the Alliance of the Word, please allow me to extend my greetings to you and your people. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Neela T. I do not have any official capacity as such, but it is marvelous to be seeing actual people from beyond the disconnected gates. How did you get here? Has a gate reopened? Are we connected once more? Oh, I knew it would have to happen eventually. What joyous news! Momentous news indeed. 
Although we are less than clear on how this has occurred, there is speculation that the boron triggered the gate reinitialization. Messages from your scientists indicated that they were working on such a task. Please, can you direct us towards Kingdom End? You were in contact with Kingdom End? That is marvelous news! It has been decades since we were cut off. We have heard nothing in all that time. The severing of the connection with Nishala has been indescribably distressing for all of us. My system is in profound turmoil. I... I... To meet a fellow Boron after all these years is an incandescent joy. But to find that you, too, are cut off from the homeworld is a misery. More than you know, Bosota. We have all mourned this loss. But without access to Kingdom End, your Queen and Parliament, how do you govern yourselves? After the severance, there was a period of chaos, until a royal steward was appointed. I have had dealings with him. It would be my pleasure to make an introduction. We must make haste. There is much to be discussed with your leadership. Follow me, you calculated curious creatures. That is, that is so good a of a voice. society not headed by a queen? This is somewhat hard to fathom. Indeed, Bosota. From your own experience, you understand the pain of separation. I doubt other species appreciate the biological depth of our harmonious societal interconnection. It was worse than it is now. It used to be that all our systems were isolated. Severed, not just from Kingdom End, the Queen and Homeworld Nishla, but also from each other. Fortunately, several of our systems reconnected to each other eventually, but none received word from home. Reorganization became a necessity. The provinces adrift, as we call ourselves, were only ever intended to be temporary. But under the royal steward, it has grown into a comprehensive governing body. But some of us have never given up on Kingdom End. Your communication with the homeworld is momentous in the extreme. Not a soul in these systems has found evidence of where the Kingdom End even still exists. That is pretty cool. That was something I was I wanted to say. Because a secondary separate Boron faction that had some different politics, some different views, and that they were also stuck away from the main kingdom. That's so cool. So we, we as the player have to play our way into Kingdom's End. That's pretty cool. Autopilot disengaged. Goodness. Someone from beyond our realm. Surely this indicates that our reports are correct. The once dormant gate has indeed resumed its function and brought our province into alignment with our erstwhile allies. You must realize what this means. All the resources of the Commonwealth are now within reach. At long last, a chance to end the shortages. It's a really fun design. Pick up the pace. I must warn you, the provinces adrift are not awash with the luxuries of the old kingdom. The pain of severance has been constant, but our economy has also suffered. The shortages of essential goods have cut deeply. Reconnection with the network may alleviate some of these issues, at least. Okay, interesting. So I'm getting a vibe here that this game start is more about empire building and helping a faction grow than anything else. I wasn't wasn't really aware what the theme would be. All right, here we are, bearing shores. Okay, Boron what is defense this? Platform. Defense platform. A. Eh? Also, pretty interesting to uh, the guy who voices Ozota, like the first Baron. He, as far as I know, he was he is Briti British. British. And he has a little accent. Like the Boron has a little British accent. And now the Borons seem to all have some sort of British accent. <laughs> so we have British dolphins on the other side of the gate. Really nice. Mila T, you bring us guests, outsiders, with a fleet no less. What have you been up to? 
more than that, Royal Steward. I bring momentous news. The fleet, this paranid led fleet, it came from the dormant gate in watchful gaze. They have communicated with Kingdom Ends. They have no Kingdom End gate, but they have communication. We are connected to the network once more. My word, the if. The delegation seeks an audience. May I? Yes, yes, of course. There is so much to discuss, so much to consider. Royal Steward, would it be in order for me to accompany the delegation? I am sure you have other things to do. Diplomacy is not the same thrill as exploration. Please, Royal Steward, with your permission. Of course, Neela T. By all means, accompany the delegation. Explore. You've displayed some usefulness thus far. I'm tasking you with joining us in meeting the Royal Steward. I may have need of your insights. You have clearly made an impression on the expedition commander. I sense you are becoming more central to his plans. Join the delegation. Watch this royal steward. Okay. I have some experiments to attend to, though I shall keep an eye on you. Nice. So this Guppy. ship, Guppy, it's a little different from other ships. I think this one is maybe a light carrier. It seems inspired by the transport military from previous X Games. Docking it's really ranch. interesting to see a ship like that. Again, I'm not sure if it, this is the one I'm thinking about. Oh no, I have to manually dock without a docking computer. Okay, let's do this. Ugh, nice. Oh, that is so cool. Successful. A born capital ship in all my days. <laughs> Perfect equilibrium of function and ergonomics, and with such flair. My current abode is penurious in comparison. Uh, I find it that's so funny when a character goes and be like, Oh my god, this ship is so cool, it's so beautiful, the ergonomics, the design, it smells good. Like, It's like the developer saying they, their own game looks really good. I love that. Especially when it's Bozo Tai, he's so eloquent, so it sounds great. But it's funny, in a way. My Ropalium near explodes with the joy of welcoming esteemed visitors. This historic occasion is the first of its kind. I am Lita V. Royal Steward of the Provinces Adrift. On behalf of Her Majesty the Queen and as her loyal servant, it is my profound pleasure to welcome an emissary of the Peronid Empire. And once business is out of the way, I insist you join me on a more informal tour. Esteemed Royal Steward, Lita Wee, thank you for your most gracious welcome. You must forgive me. I, Numakaret, am no Empire emissary. I represent the Alliance of the Word, a diplomatic form and scientific organization funded by various races across the network. My, my. But do you have letters patent from the Empire? The provinces adrift are in dire straits. We must negotiate terms of assistance. I am compelled to reiterate, I do not speak for the Paranid authorities. Though we do bring news which may bring joy, we have been in communication with Kingdom End. Limited, fragile communication, but communication nevertheless. Some months ago, we received word from your homeworld. It was heartening to discover that the Boron Corps has survived the shutdown and learn of their most ambitious endeavor. Their entire scientific resources are focused on understanding and manipulating jump gate technology. We humbly request your permission to investigate the dormant jump gates in your territory and to set up a scientific outpost in the region, should that be required. There are so many implications to consider. This really is momentous. I am afraid I must decline your request for now. What? We cannot be precipitous. What's the matter with you? Waters of Nishala. Exactly. I By Nishala, what the hell is going on? We ask for no more than your permission. We certainly have no wish to be a drain on your resources. Lida Wee, 
They are trying to connect us with Kingdom End. They have communications. Neela T, this obsession with finding home is entirely yours. You may have the luxury of gallivanting around the galaxy in search of miracles, but I, I have responsibilities. I have the welfare of billions of souls to consider. Our guests have already made clear that the outside network, with all its resources, has been unable to connect with our home world. The priority at this juncture is the welfare of our people, and I shall not be distracted from that. Honored host, we will of course expedite communications with the governments of the network. I am sure emissaries are preparing as we speak. Yet, if we could simply... Enough, please. I understand your request, but I do not think you understand what is at stake. Please have patience, but for now, the matter is settled. Outrageous! The Boron Queen's government itself is racing to reconnect, and you decline to facilitate? What kind of royal steward are you? Please! There is nothing to be gained from trading insults. This is absurd! Our work is of the utmost importance! Okay, you don't have Your to be so mad. Is beyond me. I shall take my leave. And again, he's a paranoid, so he gets mad really easily, Heading as far as I know. Waiting pickup. <sighs> yeah, that's kind of dumb. Come better, but all may not be lost. Mediate between the parties. Yeah, since this character I'm playing is a diplomatic guy, I'm gonna try to be diplomatic. Usually I play Ter Terran, so I shoot first and I shoot later, but now I'm gonna talk first and talk later, I guess. From our disappointing introduction. So some of those options may proceed with the dialogue, so I don't know. Let's see if I can ask him questions without proceeding From with the dialogue. From time I spend the waking nights pondering the very same question. It would be misleading to cast blame for all our miseries on the Great Shutdown. In fact, when we were first riven from the wider network, the vast majority of our Boron systems remained connected between themselves. Isolated from external threats, we commenced a new age of reflection and scientific endeavor. And while this period of peace brought the wealth of Kingdom M to fabulous new heights, we were not complacent. Resources were stockpiled throughout the Queendom, a precautionary measure. Oh, we thought we were... Interesting. Born. Nice, Yet that's very truth, interesting. we were far from it. We Boron are inherently connected to each other, you see. We thrive on a collective sort of innate affinity. Once that connection was severed, each system found itself in complete isolation. Things fell apart quite quickly, I'm afraid to say. Productivity collapsed catastrophically. Stockpiles were depleted far more rapidly than anticipated, and there was no way to replenish them. After years of disarray, Great Reef finally reconnected with barren shores. Later, it was joined by several other systems. The provinces adrift were founded, but by then, the damage was done. We still lacked crucial resources. I contend that it was the collective psychological toll of the severance that caused this, more so than the evident logistical challenges posed by the shutdown. So this is interesting, and I guess unique to the Borons. Um, they have some sort of hive mind, I guess, or maybe some spiritual connection between each other. And even though they were the only race probably to take care and not trust the jump gate network, they still got the short end of the stick. And when the gate shut down, bad things happen just like to every other race. So that's interesting. So are you okay? I regret my approach at our meeting. You see, I have not hosted a diplomatic function in decades. Unfortunately, I am simply not in the habit of communicating with anyone other than Boron, you see. We Boron converse amongst ourselves, relying on complex structures of pheromones, not just mere words. There was so much to communicate, so much to cogitate upon, yet the words failed to convey my meaning. You must imagine it like painting an ocean, yet having only a single shade of blue with which to do so. 
Okay. Why don't you try it? Enter. You are correct, of course. There is no harm in reaching for common ground. I am embarrassed to say that our defensive capabilities are woefully inadequate. Ashamedly so. Our economy is so fractured, we struggle to construct anything larger, perhaps, than a frigate. We cannot even resource and operate a full-scale shipyard. For oh, I can do that for you. <laughs> Gladly. We Boron have had little need for a comprehensive military. I fear that we are wholly unprepared for the myriad dangers lurking beyond the gate. Nah, don't and worry about it. word spread of the valuable equipment and facilities proposed by the Alliance of the Word, it might be akin to painting a target upon ourselves for any nefarious actors in the vicinity. One moment. I have, even now, received word of split incursions. Oh, of course. If we had anything of value to loot, we would not be discussing skirmishes. They would descend upon us in hordes. Okay. That is okay. Um, it's interesting because, you know, I just sh I probably showed you... The Protectorate has determined that this system poses no threat to the citizens of Seoul or the wider network. Our orders are to deploy to a position of more strategic importance. Still, stay alert. None of us know what might be lurking out there. The Alliance of the Word thanks you for your support. You shall proceed alone from here on. Our military friends are needed elsewhere. Oh god. Terrans are leaving. And now I have a freaking discoverer. Probably just showed you my fleet of Asgards in my other save, but here I'm uh, nobody. I'm just an explorer. A junior explorer. Stuart and I have had our differences in the past, but I had no idea he would be so stubborn. Are you talking to me? Okay. Oh, this place looks cool. For some reason it reminds a little bit of the cafeteria from Firefly. Even though it's a little um, more high tech and all that. I, I really like this. I am so very sorry you had to witness that embarrassingly discordant display. Leader we and I disagree on much, but he is not a bad person, you know? He is just... scared. Your quest for home was an obsession? Oh! You took note of that, did you? Time after time I approached Leader Wee for the resources to find our way back home. But he has come to the conclusion that efforts spent on this endeavor come at an immediate cost to our people. I would hate for you to get the impression that I do not care for my fellow Boron here. Out on the fringes, I am truly seeking to make a difference for the people. Serving the Queen's subjects is a duty for me. You see, I do not like to draw too much attention to it. But I myself am the progeny of stranded minor royals. Before you bow or anything like that, I am not part of the direct line of succession. And that is not how our monarchy works in any case. Yet, it drives me to find a path back home, for the people to once again delight in a reunited, merry realm. Okay, interesting. I like the hair. Her face. The bioluminescence here. I think. He is scared of falling short. He carries the weight of the expectations of the entire provinces. He wants to keep everyone safe, and I think he fears what is he that your of? expedition will exacerbate an already dangerous situation. Dangerous situation? Yes, fraught with danger. The provinces lie uncomfortably close to Kark territory. When oh, the Sanctuary of Darkness first connected to the provinces, it triggered regular attacks. We barely managed to protect ourselves with the meager military that we could cobble together. Thankfully, the waves have calmed for now. The Kark incursions eventually ceased. All attempts to communicate with these enigmatic creatures have failed. So I would hesitate to call it a ceasefire. It is more of a lull in hostilities. As you can imagine, the situation remains rather fragile. Okay. So, the CAC can just come in and wipe everything. Um, my hopes for this DLC is that we can just hurt the CAC, like, really bad. I, I hate them. They should die. Because they're evil. Um, where is our Baronet friend? Okay. Nom... Nomankaret. Hello, Nomankaret. Who does this fool think he is? Does he not understand the gravity of our mission? 
withholding his consent? We shall continue without it if necessary. Okay. Let's have patience towards the close-minded. May have a point. They apparently they respond so well Perhaps when you speak. A simple mind cannot grasp all the variables. The way they play. speak. I wonder if we can help him to see the bigger picture. Ledavu is afraid. Yes, you are right. That much is obvious. I cannot help but wonder if there is more to the issue than that. Perhaps he is overly attached to his role as prime administrator of the provinces. A reunion with King Demend would inevitably result in him having to relinquish power and standing. I don't think so. I mean, sure, we could have a plot twist in the, and the Baron guy is evil, but it's pretty clear he has a lot of reasons not to want to paint a target to his people if they don't have a military. But let's talk about Heifer's outside incursions. Well, we are a scientific expedition. So our offensive options are rather limited in that regard. What we can do, however, is make assurances that any valuable equipment that is transported into Boron space will be well guarded, making it an unappealing target. Furthermore, I am prepared to place several scouts at his disposal, and to establish a network of satellites and watchful gaze. That will give the split cause to reconsider an incursion into the provinces. The situation with this steward does indeed seem resolvable, though I fear he wears my patience thin. Take this matter in hand. Go and see the fool. Perhaps you can change his mind. Go and see the fool. That sounds so funny. He certainly fears the cock. Ah, I understand. He is worried that our presence will stir up an infestation of the chitterers. The Alliance of the Word is certainly prepared to provide assurances that our investigation will not leave him exposed to Ka'ak attacks. Sure, yeah, alright. Not even the player can do that in the end game, so... Yes, you are right. That much is obvious. He's afraid. I cannot help but wonder if there is more to the issue than that. Perhaps he is overly attached to his role okay, as Okay, so he says the same thing the over again. Oh, so, goodbye. Let's see the fool. <laughs> We're borrowed, man. So is the game auto saving here because I'm gonna have to make a choice? I don't like to make choices in this game. The borrow interiors reminds me so much of the. Of, what's the name? Of the ship from Farscape? It reminds me so much ah, of that. The silent one from our disappointing introduction. Okay, so what do I have to say here? Perhaps there's a positive solution. About the cock threat, we can use force to resolve this permanently, or we can name to avoid provocation at all costs. Well, the cock is freaking annoying, like we have to kill them, at least in the current game. I don't see avoiding them a possibility. Permanently? Wiping them out is your solution? To simply exterminate a species? Well... I understood that you entered our provinces in pursuit of scientific enlightenment, oh. not bloodshed. <laughs> I'm, I'm... Do these fins look like Terran appendages to you? <laughs> not all the inhabitants of this galaxy are driven by unmoderated barbarity. No thank you. If we can Sorry, I forgot I'm not peace, a Terran in this playthrough. So. Oh god, I, I made him angry. So, we can promise him to provide security to protect his borders or use Nila's ties to increase his standing. Does that even make sense? Oh, so we could bait him in case he was a bad guy. We can use this line here to catch him. Mmm, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Even though this is more the obviously, obvious choice, I think I'm gonna say this just to see what kind of person he is. I am fully aware of Nila T's royal connections. Is it your opinion of me that I am some petty functionary who can be bought and sold, bribed, by the highest bidder? You misjudge me, and you misjudge Nila T. For all our disagreements, I cannot conceive that she would be party to such a grubby approach. Of course I desire the return of the provinces adrift to the warm embrace of the homeworld. But what kind of servant would I be if I did so at the expense of the welfare of those under my charge? Okay, he wouldn't say speak so much about it I find if he was no a bad guy. Reassurance in your words, only distaste. 
My principal concern is the welfare of the Boron of the provinces. Your expedition will expose them to needless jeopardy. Minui, this is Numankaret. You have underestimated both the influence of the Alliance of the Word and the importance to the network of reconnecting with Kingdom End. As we speak, our representatives are in conference with our allies. The agenda is how, and indeed whether, there should be trade with the provinces adrift. Your ludicrous obstruction leaves me no choice but to twist your arms. Okay, I caused a conflict. Yes. If your economy is your priority, then I hold the keys to unlock it. Blackmail? You, Numankaret, are no scientist. You are a brigand and a charlatan. And yet, you leave me no choice but to accede to your dangerous demands. But mark my words, you have made no friends here in the provinces of Drift. Someday, you may regret that. He's so mad. With the gate and watchful gaze reactivated, to our knowledge only three more dormant gates remain in province space. One is located in Ocean of Fantasy, another in Barren Shores, the final one was discovered by scouts in Sanctuary of Darkness. If Sanctuary of Darkness sounds foreboding, you may find that the name is fitting. It is host to a significant Ka'ak infestation. Urgh. Even uttering the name makes my fins tingle. Yet I must remain firm on the matter. Do not, under any circumstances, engage with the Ka'ak. Every interaction with them results in horrific conflict. You have our word, lead away. We shall do everything in our power to avoid undue provocation. Thank you. And may I bestow upon you a gift? Okay, a I just made you mad and you're gonna to give me a gift? Past our altercation, sure. We have prepared for you a fighter ship. A humble gift, give but me. hopefully it will be of use to you in the times ahead. Explorer, you have done well to secure access for us to continue our mission. Please. Claim the scout ship as your own. It'll serve you well. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Give me the boring ship right now. So, I would reload. If I was playing this, if I wasn't making a video, I would reload and try to make this guy like me. I don't know if that's a possibility. But I just discovered that he is true about his intentions and that he's not a bad guy and that he's gonna be my ally. No matter if he wants it, he's gonna be my friend. You have no other option. Like he has no other up and he's gonna love me. I don't I don't care. Yeah, how does this work? Where is the need to investigate the door oh. to the next step of our expedition? Hell? I am already familiar with the gate in Ocean of Fantasy. If you supply me with the necessary equipment nice. and provide me with a few pointers as to what exactly I am to do, it would be my deepest pleasure to assist. What? Excellent. You might show investigate. That only leaves the matter of the final gate, the location of which is somewhat more precarious. Explore, you have excelled thus far. Put that new fighter of yours to good use, and find Sanctuary of Darkness. It seems that you are best suited to this task. Base gun and Nyon Gatling? Boron shields? All around engine? Nice. Lots of times I dreamt of being reunited with my fellow Boron. It never crossed my mind that they might be in such impoverished circumstances. I know that the Alliance has received communications from Kingdom End, but those were dispatched decades ago. Hopefully, they have fared better than the Boron here. I am curious about the contents of their message. Just how much of their preliminary findings have they shared with their Alliance counterparts? Once we have gained access to both Gates' data, maybe the Alliance really intends to conduct experiments from our side too. Trying to manipulate Gates would be an incredibly involved undertaking. Yet it seems as though Numankaret is single-minded about the whole endeavor. Can you imagine the possibilities that would be open to us if we could manipulate these gates Bro. at will? Thanks to the newly opened trade routes, we have commenced rebuilding our shipyard. You are, of course, most welcome to aid us in our undertaking. That is so cool. Your that effort so cool. will, of course, be lucratively compensated. That is so cool. They are building their own shipyard until they don't have it. Um, is that a problem? Like, can you kill the Borons accidentally or the provinces adrift? Like, can you fail this whole questline by killing 
everyone or the, them getting killed by the split or the, the, the Xenon. That would be so cool. But of course, I don't expect that. Let me just quick scan here real quick. And we are now playing the game a little bit. I have arrived at my designated inactive gate. I shall commence taking readings immediately. Oh, so we can accept a mission here. Or promises a drift construction aid. Okay, that's interesting. And let's take a couple I missions. I count on you. So if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna do a couple missions real quick so we can have a little money in our pockets. We have only 15,000. So I can buy a docking computer and improvements to the spacesuit. I'm gonna be right back. I've been playing for about 15 minutes and we are here on the Baron Wharf. They do have a wharf, com a completed one. What they're trying to build is a shipyard. Um, it looks really good. Everything looks really fantastic. It's very obvious to me the inspiration from Farscape here. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised at least. Um, let's redesign our ship real quick. We can apply different skins to the ships. And I have some ugly ones available. This is the one that this ship we got came from. It looks really good. So why don't we go and ruin it? And I know one of these is from buying the... From pre-ordering the game. Um, let's go and make this thing look really weird and orange. Okay, let's install that. For no reason. And then we're here to pick up a guy. I am terribly sorry to disrupt Oops. your magnificent focus. What's Hello up? there. An irksome ship has completed its travels right in this sector. Somehow, it is managing to distort the station sensors, preventing me from witnessing a solar event in the Great Reef Nebula. I suggest you take care of this annoyance before it manages to disrupt even more observations. Okay, so there's another mission? Another quest line? Let me check. Okay, that's interesting. There's another quest line. I'll, um, we have the main Boron quest line, the Alliance of the Ward, and the Bozota something. Um, right now, I'm doing some mission running. And I'm going to upgrade our ship. First, let's pick up the, the passenger. Before I go back to story missions, let's pick up this passenger. I'm going to do a few more missions. Let's come aboard to the Mako. And we're going to upgrade. I just wanted to show you this in case you don't know X or you're not used to it. Oh yeah, you can press Shift and D to teleport back to your ship. Like a fast travel back to the ship while walking around stations. I hired a pilot for us just in case we need to eject so he can grab us in, in the space. And we can come here and click Upgrade and Repair Dock Chips. So here's our Mac hall. We can buy some upgrades, maybe. I don't really have too much money. I would like to, to have go. one marine, so we can capture ships. Um, I need some satellites for missions, and I'm already running out of money. I'm gonna fill up with flares, grab a dog king computer to save a little time, and upgrade the sensors. Whoops, I'm out of money. Just, just a second. In case you're short of money in the beginning of the game, make sure you come here to the trader. Sometimes you have um, you inventory go. items. So I have got those 10 spacefly eggs here to drop from a weird pirate pirate investigation mission I was doing. I wanted to save up. It's really worth it to save 25 of those. I was almost there so you can craft an item and sell for a million. But I really need this money right now and I don't mind losing it. 
And I'm gonna buy the spacesuit dressers to be faster Less when doing jobs. the spacesuit missions. And by the way, here you can craft items. I don't have anything to craft because I sold everything. Okay, and here's our upgrades. We're upgrading our engines, our thrusters, our chill generator, installing all the software, getting some consumables and getting a new crewman. He's gonna be our marine, so if we find an abandoned ship, we can send him in to capture the ship or to pilot it for us. And it's gonna cost everything I have. I'm gonna do a couple more missions. I'm gonna wait a minute here and do a couple more missions and then we can go back to the story missions. Jump gate, unknown sector. So we are back here on the wharf after a little mission running and something terrible has happened. I've ranked up with the Borons where they are here. And if you know X, you know that this is the dreaded time where you come with a faction leader, actually a faction representative, and he's gonna talk you, to you about how much he likes you. So you come here to him and you have some options and you can we receive the rank. watching your accomplishments with great interest and believe you deserve a reward for it. I am pleased to present you with a new rank within the Queendom. You will find that this rank comes with wondrous benefits. These benefits are tied to the rank, so if you lose the rank, the benefits will go too. But with your character, I am sure we have nothing to worry about. I hope you find these rewards acceptable. Please make the most of them. You may now find that certain organizations within the Boron Queendom will take interest in you joining their ranks. Once again, I thank you for your continued efforts. We look forward to working with you more in the future. Pleasant travels. There we go. We ranked up and now we have some benefits. You can come here. Well, if you're a new player, you can press M for the map. Click here on the player information and click on this button for the faction relations screen and select the faction you want to read about. We've, became, we've become an accepted friends with the Boron, so now we have access to a few licenses for free. We can buy new modules, production modules for stations. We can buy military equipment, we can buy military ships, and we can buy a police license. Let's see, we have a little money here. I'm going to buy this police license. That way I can get more rewards and more benefits when killing enemies and close your Borons, which I think we're going to do. So I think I was overreacting. For every faction, you can gain two different friendship levels here, reputation levels, right? So you get that dialogue twice for each faction. That's like, I don't know, 20, 40 dialogues in a playthrough. It's a lot of time sitting around in those dialogues. So yeah, it's kind of a joke in this community, I guess. Like I, can, I go and brew some coffee when those guys are speaking. So I bought the police license. And since we are here, let's try and see Let's see which blueprints they have. So they have a bunch of S ships, a bunch of M ships, L ships, and XL ships. Nice, Walrus, okay. They are very expensive. What about technology? Ion atomizer, ion pulse guns, ray ion projector, arc gun, okay. The, the Borons are very interesting. There is an ion flak turret and an ion net launcher. What? What is this? This is new. So I think this is some sort of fragmentation bomb launcher that makes people slower, that slows down enemy ships. And yeah, there's at least four new types of turrets coming from the Borons, which is great. The Borons only have all around engines, so no combat or no other types of engines. Apparently no new missiles, and yeah, everything else is pretty much the same as expected, because this is already well developed. Let's see the modules here. Of course, all of these blueprints is only belonging to this faction, there's also the main Baron faction, I assume. So here is the Baron station modules, want to have a look. They're very expensive, but we can steal them <laughs> later. Yes, everything else is as expected, but here are the prices for the Boron specific economy buildings. So 2 million for Bofu and Bogas. It's not that expensive. And again, if you really want blueprints like this, you should steal it and save money. If you don't know how to do that, just look up the bomb Pleasant launcher travels. and EMP bombs. 
So with the rest of our money, I'm gonna buy an arc gun and the best shield generator. And now we can go back to doing the story missions. And our current goal is to find the inactive jump gate somewhere. We have to find the Sanctuary of Darkness. You know, there's a gate here, you know, a gate there. But the south gate is active, so oh, let's no, check out the it. north gate first. Oh, look at Hydra. It looks so good. It looks so mean. That's, a, it, that's the best Corvette right there. That's the best Corvette right there. And here we are at the north gate. I guess this is some exploration mission. I don't know if we had that yet on X4. Entering system. Sanctuary of Darkness. Sanctuary of Darkness. Ominous. According to our archives, there was once a Xeno presence hereabouts in the network. I wonder what befell them. Oh, is that so? Then we were quite lucky that our systems were not connected directly to a Xenon stronghold. There is no way we would have survived, given the state what of the our hell? military. See if you can locate the inactive gate in this system. Be careful. Take great care when navigating. We must honor our word and avoid the cut. You will also need to be cautious of the region's other hazards. I recommend that you stick close to the asteroids. They seem to be an exceptional indicator of where your ship will not be harmed. There it is. Approach the jump gate in the cell. Try to okay, get yeah, I'm taking damage, both hull and shields. Empty space. Alright, so let's approach the jump gate. You are in range. Activate your ship scan mode now. Each jump gate has two pairs of missiles. They act as caches for storing operational data, among many other things. They're still not very familiar with this technology, or who created it. But, thanks to recent scientific advancements, we are able to make sense of some of the information that we are retrieving. It seems apparent that some of the data likely represents the coordinates of other jump gates. Whether this means that these gates were connected in the distant past is mere conjecture. Perhaps the builders had reasons unknown to us for certain gates to hold them. Special compatibility. The vast majority of the data in these caches remains a vexing mystery to us all. Hmm, mysterious. I'm gonna drop a satellite here. And I'm gonna press M and check out the region we are in. What happened? We have gathered everything okay. we can access from this missile. Move on to the one on the opposite side. I'm getting ahead of myself, so scan the other side. You are in range. Activate your ship scan mode now. Yes, some of this data looks rather promising. I'm forwarding all of this to our science team as we speak. Oh, look at this sector, man. It has some sort of... Yeah, there's a pathway. It's like a, a minefield. Oh, those black areas are the hazard zones, probably. Interesting. Oh my! I am picking up a worrisome fluctuation in energy signatures. Here they come. Revive. My mortal enemies. The cock. So, if you don't know, those guys are like a insectoid race, it is believed. They are a hive mind, and they are evil, and they don't talk to you, and they kill everyone. And they killed many, many innocent people years ago. And they keep doing this. And they keep annoying the player. Forever. Let's try and kill them. Yeah, the arc weapon is really interesting. I think it murders their shield pretty quickly. I feel like I'm doing good amounts of damage here. I mean, those are scouts and I think I'm a light fighter, but still, the bottom weapons are good. You fought bravely, Explorer. 
Yes. Your display of skill was altogether impressive. I just hope this communication does not result in a more severe and unwelcome reaction. Poor science team has poured over the data that Mila T was able to win from the cache. While we have not yet completed our examination of the Sanctuary of Darkness cache, it is quite obviously the most promising of the gates. Despite the additional challenges the Kabak will represent. More dangerous, perhaps. But I'm afraid that things are not going well in Ocean of Fantasy either. The system's planet is devastated and completely uninhabitable. Perhaps, once the provinces have re-established their economy, they can attempt some terraforming. For now, this expedition needs you to map out safe passage for a larger fleet to navigate through Sanctuary of Darkness. You can use nav beacons to determine an appropriate route. Just stay clear of the Kaak installations. And other hazardous regions, obviously. For a better overview of the task in hand, do not hesitate to consult your map. Okay, so we have to look at the map and do, and do like I said before, they want us to set up nav beacons to show them the safe way through, through this gate. I hope I'm doing this correctly. Let me double check that first. Do I need to start over there? Or can I start from here? Okay, I know how to deploy things. Um, you can come here. Let's try to build a pathway for our friends to come over. So is this a hazard zone? No, it is not. And deploy the nav beacon. Thanks, Eaglesoft, for giving us the nav beacons before. Oh, there was some stuff I wanted there. Hey, what would be the best route here? Let's try to go this way. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing this deployment of nav beacons and you'll see how it goes. This place looks so cool. And then, could be it? No? Hmm, I wonder if I broke something. So I, I've built a pathway here, but I've done it from the destination to here. So I don't know if the game is bugging out. I'm going to try go all the way there and see what happens. Part of X4 is, tr is figuring out what the hell the, game's, the game wants out of you. That's part of the experience. And as you ca guys can see over there, that's an evil building. It's a cock hive. Yes, it looks like you found a route. Finally. Nicely done, Explorer. Everyone, move in. The expedition shall now establish a scientific outpost. This may be the beginning of a most fruitful phase in our journey together. Nice. Autopilot engaged. So, for toes in the future, what happened is some of my beacons were too far away from each other. Even though on the map it didn't seem that way. So yeah, don't be too economical with your usage of the beacons. As you can see here, I was I went pretty far away, but. I think this one and this one were a bit further away. There are some people already having problems, so yeah. It wouldn't be X if you didn't have to figure out how to accomplish the mission. And I keep getting hit by lightning, that's pretty funny. Let's try something here. So while we are in this terrible, terrible place, why don't we eject? Can I help? No, I don't want to talk to you. Sir? Oh hell, we are in this terrible, terrible place. Why don't we eject and use the repair beam Junk to gate. fix our Mako? Mako? What could go wrong? There's lightning, there's the cock, there's that gate that might just open in front of us. Nothing could go wrong, right? <laughs> I actually didn't think this would happen, but okay, I'm gonna reload.
Wayfinder. Oh, there's the Wayfinder. Okay. Danger. Let's go after it. So it's actually following the, the my beacons. And I can jock on it? Oh, that's so cool. Okay. So let's talk on the Wayfinder here. So you can follow it to the next waypoint. We've established a perimeter around the inactive jump gate. Now we are commencing the construction of an outpost. Do not elevate your hopes quite yet. Experimentation shall begin soon, but jump gate technology is very alien and highly volatile. We do not know for certain whether we can ever successfully force a connection, particularly without real-time coordination with our kingdom and counterparts. Nonetheless, we have an ideal candidate gate for experimentation. The Alliance of the Word has an obligation to our cousins and kingdom and to try our utmost. These technological marvels have eluded our understanding to date. Something about the interfaces remains stubbornly out of reach. The final spark. In any case, Explorer, congratulations! You have performed your part, and you have done so unimpeachably. We will keep you updated on our progress in the coming years. Years? What and do you mean years? Fate wills it. You might one day find your name in the annals of the great explorers and scientists. No way, man. And nobody got time for that. Ah. Uh, after all we did, the gate's still gonna be inactive. So... <laughs> sorry if I saw... I've been recording for almost three hours, so <laughs> I sounded so that I, I'm not sorry. That's actually... I'm, I'm really enjoying this story and this mission was a little clunky but you know I've been playing this game for so many years that like I said you get used to not exactly the jank but reverse engineering whatever the hell the developers want you want out, want out of you <laughs> there's some, and there's some mysterious stuff is still to happen in this oh my god I, I'm not sure but I, I I think the upgrade I did to the engine made me is making me lose control of this ship. Assistant, you must forgive my absence in your most recent exploratory endeavors. It is just I have been somewhat preoccupied with my own observations. When did Numancarent say the Alliance of the Word plans to conclude their experiments? Well, the expedition leader did suggest that he would keep us up to date over the coming years. What? Years, you say? <laughs> that is... Oh my, that is rather disappointing. I had hoped to contribute to their experiments right away. See, well, that's why Bozo Tai is our best friend. Space, would you mind assisting me in my personal research? Ever since my tentacles first grasped the scientific equipment in this research installation, I have been utterly fascinated by the Great Reef Nebula. Even if that pesky Sagaris Pioneer's vessel is complicating accurate measurement collection at the moment, you see, I have identified several neutron stars, magnetars in fact, which pulse in an oddly specific way. One could be an anomaly, two might be a coincidence, but I have already identified a potential third. I need you to verify my observations, independently. To that end, I have compiled a list of positions in Great Reef that I need you to visit. Please forgive me if I appear somewhat excitable. There is a chance that this could point to a discovery of immeasurable significance. Boso Tar has informed me of your exciting plans. You must let me accompany you. In fact, I will not take no for an answer. The Alliance is in the midst of their preparations. I have to say, the deluge of scientific jargon leaves me cold. I much prefer action. Okay, we got a wingman. Um, I'm gonna do another mission actually i'm gonna do the season this is one from bozo ta we got earlier this one would be advancing the main quest here um and it's fascinating it's really interesting 
Uh, I liked they are going with the exploration and science theme because those are the boron themes. Okay, Forager. we have enemies. We have a forger here. Why? Go away. Oops. Go a little burr burr somewhere else. I swear I have PTSD from Kayak weapon sounds because they used to be really strong on previous games. And I was a kid when I first encountered them on X2 and I hated them so much. They destroyed everything I've worked for. <laughs> system. Great. Okay, let's deal with the ship for Bozota. What's going on here? Who is trolling my exploration project? Well, Bozo, on the f last dialogue, he kind of spoiled who who are the guys that are doing this. I have to find an unidentified vessel. How would I do that? Yeah, see, I have no idea what I'm, I'm supposed to do. Okay. There's the ship. Because usually you don't find ships using the long-range scanner, so now you do. That sort of thing is confusing, but it's alright. Who is the person in charge? Who is doing this mess here? Who is making my friend angry? My dolphin friend. Okinawa, research. So this is the Oberth, an Okinawa job. from Cigaris Pioneers. Mako. Happen to know who is doing this, and it's interesting because I didn't expect. I was wonder because I was wondering what they were gonna do with characters that they don't use, like this character is from another storyline. And it <laughs> that's so funny. I just landed here, and I'm going to the bridge, and nobody nobody's stopping me. So yeah. Rick Feynman, the man with the most beautiful afro in all of video game history. I am Dr. Rick Feynman, chief scientist of the Oberth and in charge of Project Genesis. Our research vessel is currently observing anomalies and gravimetric shears in this region. Project Genesis, what what are you doing in my territory? What are Project Genesis? That's on the other side of the galaxy, so. <laughs> What's Project Genesis? Oh, it's just part of our gravimetric studies. For now, it's just a mass of data from our sensors, but we'll publish our research once it is concluded. Anything else? Hello there. Oh, Hello. okay, I see. I know we why Egosoft put those guys here. Cells ...to complete our observations. If you can organize a delivery to this vessel, we'll be able to greatly advance our timetable. It appears that they are researching the same anomaly which brought the station over here. Most of the gravimetric charge dispersed during that event, but they brought quite an array of equipment to examine the traces. Let's just hope that this satisfies their curiosity and leads to their departure. Yeah, so those guys, the guys pioneers, they are a break-off faction from... not exactly break-off, but it's a... it's a... like a secondary faction from the Terrans. They're more peaceful, they consume a lot of drugs, you can make a lot of money out of them in their territory, for whatever reason, they're scientists, and they help you unlock the terraforming missions. So if you want to unlock terraforming, which I don't know why you would do that in the start of the game, that's a bad idea, but <laughs> that's a bad investment, I would say, um, you can do this mission, what's it called, gravimetric studies, yeah. But for now, if you're playing the Baron Start, I would really focus on those Astronomical observations, it seems fascinating, it seems cool. And I guess it's time for me to give my my conclusion of this first impressions video I've been recording for so long. So let's repair our Mako here. Uh, and while I do that, let's talk about this DLC. The ship designs, the materials used, everything in terms of architecture and ship design I love is they are looking amazing. 
Even though there's some weirdness here and there, like space stations are using human or commonwealth, as they would say, design in the middle of Boron designs, it's, it's, it, it ends up really weird looking. But chances are, if you play X4, you know Egosoft and you know it's an indie company, even though, you know, they have they have a team of over 20 people and they have enough money and they get grants. Um, they have to be really careful which battles they pick. So I understand not everything being perfect, but if we just look at this Mako here, inside the Mako here, even this gamer chair here looks great. Everything in this DLC is looking awesome. Look at the cockpit and the controls. The Borums themselves are looking amazing. I really like them. I love their voice. Goodbye. I think they hit the, the kind of wholesome, cute and funny aspect of Borons and the accents. And even when Borons are angry and when they tell you to stop doing something, they used to be really funny and they still are. They aren't annoying, you know? Like the splits used to be super annoying. But the Borons were always fun to play, play around and to build around. And speaking about building, I'm fascinated by this storyline where we have this, where we have this isolated Boron faction here that needs help, that they are build, building their own shipyard, and that if probably maybe if the player don't take care of them, they're gonna be hurt, their progress is gonna be hurt, their territory is gonna be in danger. I've noticed there are some pirates going there. I've seen pirates intentionally flying towards their inner systems, towards their sectors, you know, flying around, preying on Boron ships. So that's really interesting. In order to achieve something like that in my previous game, I had to completely destroy and demolish the lead off pirate faction like the Holy Order. I had to completely destroy them and then I needed to revive them to complete a mission, to complete a storyline. And it was so cool that even though they had no stations left, maybe I left one alive, they had no faction representative, I could build their faction from the ground up. Unfortunately, I don't have footage of that because that took like maybe 50 hours, I don't know how long it took for me to revive their faction just so I could finish their storyline. But by doing that, I could see that the game work, that the Egosoft put the work in the game, really works. You can bring a faction down to its knees and then you can help rebuild it. I really appreciate all the dialogue, all the effort with voice acting and the new characters, their personalities, the little stories, the little mysteries. And in the aspect of the story, which is what I really want to see more in X, I'm really happy they seem to be pushing the main, the core of the story about the jump gates, about the jump technology, about the ancients and the people who built the gates, how do they work, can we reconnect them. Um, it's been a while, the game has been out for, I don't know, almost five years now, and I really miss some good storytelling and some progress on the main story of the X universe, like we would see a little bit on X Rebirth. Most stories in the game relate to, oh, kill this faction, rebuild this faction, help this faction, but none of them is really, hey, here's what happened to the gates, hey, let's, you know, let's progress the technology and the universe itself, so there is some hope here. And I also really like they are talking about the cock finally, because the cock has been this silent threat in the game. They are like the evil in the dark corners, right? They are like this faceless evil that never talks to you, that you don't know anything about and I think new players have no idea they have no chance to know about them I don't remember any point in the game maybe there is something but I don't remember basically for a new player a cac just appears and first kills their mining ships that they worked for so many hours to buy and to be able to give the right orders to mine automatically and they don't know why so yeah interesting enough the two things I wanted from this DLC other than, hey, Borons, right? But for me personally, I really wanted the main story to be pushed forward and I wanted them to recognize the cock finally into the game and to maybe go towards an ending for the cock and for the Xenon because, you know, the games have been out forever now and we have the same enemies since X2 and even though I understand there are big threats that are spread in dark corners of the galaxy and that makes them like perfect enemies, like zombies on a zombie game, like infinite, they can appear anywhere, you know, there's no problem killing them, they're just, you know, insects or, or zombies or, or machines. I really think X needs to move away from that if they want to reach the kind of audience they have been striving to reach all these years. And I do say that with all my heart. X was one of the games that changed, that changed my mind, that maybe changed my life, I guess, because I played it when I was around 14 years old. By that time, everyone I knew was playing 
PlayStation 1 games or Nintendo 64 games, which are very different in scale to what a simulation game like X can do. And when I played that, the game frustrated me so much. I rage quit and I came back and I tried again. And here I am, like almost 20 years later. So I'm really glad this DLC is out. The universe feels way more complete now with our Boron fans. I think they've made the race justice which is not something to say lightly nowadays where you know a lot of media doesn't do justice to their own stories but yeah i feel like overall i can't wait to get back to x i can't wait to do those missions um from what i've seen i didn't feel like any jank other than the the nav beacon stuff which was really quick to solve as a warning usually the jank the issues especially on a release version of a new dlc or a new x game they start happening around the halfway point of the story or by the end and regarding the new sectors you know i feel like i didn't unlock even half of what's available i only unlocked like four sectors and i'm already very intrigued like i want to go and look all their corners i want to send scouts i want to put satellites i want to put see what they have in terms of minerals i want to test the new turrets i want to put Boron ships against the split ships and see and see who wins. I want to make a Boron only playthrough where I make the the broken and lost and disconnected Borons into the galactic powerhouse that they deserve to be. So yeah, I would say Egosoft was successful. So remember to like and subscribe and if you wish to see more X4 content, feel free to leave a comment below. I have no idea if you guys are interested in it. I don't really watch too many videos because I think making videos for X4 is really hard, requires a lot of recording time. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you on the next video. Fly angry.